Good morning. It's October. Uh, what is it? Wednesday, October the twenty seventh, maybe. I'm kind of. It's been. I'm kind of a lost on my dates right now. Um, it's kind of been a long time since I made a video. Uh, long overdue. I've been um, at a property of mine elsewhere, uh, laying a new floor and so on. So. Or uh, not a new floor. It's a condo. So I'm just. Really taking up carpet and putting, I was taking up carpet and putting down. Um, the, you know, the faux wood grain, um, what, what do you call that? Uh, paneling, I guess. Not paneling, flooring. Eh, flooring. Uh, whatever. Uh, get it at Lowe's, right? But um, that's not, not neither here nor there. Well, I got, what I got on the table this morning is a game, um, Target for Tonight. Now, what is this? This isn't the Target for Tonight that was the. It was done by Steve Dixon. This was done in um, originally in 2000 by uh, David Wayne Thomas. David Thomas, uh, and this this particular book was put together and edited in 2018. Right? Uh, I've had a long history with what I call professional war games, where you run war games. Um, for a reason, right? Uh, you know, the Rand Corporation really, <laughs> really um, was doing that. You know, long before Charles S. Roberts made a hobby game, and uh, militaries have been doing it for for years, going all the way back to honestly, we talk about Kriegspiel, um, but it's way before Kriegspiel, you know. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. That's just another thing for something else. But I don't talk about it too much because I don't want to sound like hoity-toity and act like that uh, the, those games are uh, superior in some way because I really don't think they are. I um, think that they, you know, you do a particular, you do it for a particular reason, whether it's business, um, which are more kind of like role-playing games more, or whether it's... Um, Tactical or strategic situation, right? You you, you do it for um, to learn something, and um, so David Wayne Thomas and John Curry, they both have a, a background in those type of games, right? In uh, what they call serious war games, I believe is what they term in in the booklet. So uh, this is really. On the uh, on the line of a serious war game, although it is made to be a hobby war game, a game for one to six players about the experience of flying bombing missions over Germany in 1942 to 44. All right, where does it? Uh, it's at the bottom here. This book is published by the History of War Gaming Project as an example of experimental learning in the form of a hobby war game. Right, uh, so it is done by the John Curry with the History of Wargaming Project, which um, you should take a look at and see. But the, this game itself, you know, what, when you talk about, you know, serious, more serious war games, uh, many times you're, as a four, um, <clears throat> talking about, You're not making a game all-encompassing. You're making a game for a particular thing, right? Um, a lot of hobby games, they do. They, tr they, they take the kitchen sink approach where I put everything in a game. And it ends up being less and less, uh, less and less a simulation and more and more of just a uh, amalgamation of, of all these events that happen historically, all right? But if you look at people like SPI and especially... Um, Jim Dunnigan, you know, they f focused in on one particular, th or Jim Dunnigan focused in on one particular thing and made that message, got that message across. So, in um, games like this, it's, it's similar to the, some of the, some of those Jim Dunnigan games. All right, um, you're gonna need, you're gonna need a. Uh, bunch of dice, right? You're going to need a couple of some models. Ah, you don't have to have the miniatures. They 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 specify here one 
1200 or 1600 models of uh, Lancaster bombers. Yeah, one per player, or you know, you don't, you don't really, you could do without those, but um, you can get around those. You could probably do this without any representation of a Lancaster bomber, um, although uh, position and stuff can be important, as I remember. So, and you're going to need this uses um, average dust D6, D10, D12, and D20s, right? And a standard pack of playing cards with the two the two jokers in there so it's it's got a lot a lot of working parts to it there is a lot of die rolling here if you play it solitaire it's for one to six play if you play it solitaire you are um taking the <clears throat> anytime it says umpire you're going to be the one rolling those dice right um if you're playing with a group then you have an umpire who's going to roll dice for you all right more like the game master, if you will. But this is where you're going to have you're going to have takeoff, right? This is just not called a uh, sequence of play, but this is basically it. Takeoff, the initial climb to the to the to the coast, sustained climb over the North Sea, enemy coast ahead. The the Kamhuber line. Over Germany, a large leg determined of how deep the target is in Germany, of course. Uh, flag zones before the target, right? Over the target, bombers over the target make their bomb runs in turn on the target um, area grid. Homer bound, descent over North Sea, return to base and landing. Um, yeah, so... All that's almost like all those are almost like mini games within themselves, right? And um, the the game stresses <laughs> no no pun intended there stresses the idea of the stress involved. And you're you're taking a tactical situation. You're taking a uh, you're you're taking over an airplane, right? You're, you're, you're playing one Lancaster bomber and the stressful situation going in there. So on your D10 rolls, which you're going to have a bunch of D10s, you're going to use several D10s, um, rolling, rolling zeros, you know, bad stuff happens, right? Um, also, it spells it out in the book that more bad things happen here that would, that would happen traditionally on uh, Bomb and Ray, right? It's more likely that something bad happened. That's really to cause not stress so much as tension. Give you some tension in a in a in a game, um, especially a hobby game like this. So that's what the, I don't know if that's what, but that's what it's for. I don't know if that's what he said, but that is what it's for to give you tension, right? Give you uh, uh, decisions to make, right? But um, it's a good game if you want to play it. And it's not hard. It's not a complicated thing either. I mean, you think of miniature rules and you start thinking about real complicated. This is not complicated. It's not a complicated look whatsoever, right? And also, you know, you got charts back here. You got the appendices. You got your target maps. Um, this is a big part. You're going to mark those up. You're going to make copies of that. Uh, you're going to make copies of a lot of this stuff because you're going to have to mark it up on every raid. So the raid determine wh where you're going to raid is is determined by die roll. If I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken, fr from the game uh, from the umpire, right? Um, also, select the target for tonight. That's done with die rolls. A couple of different ones, if I'm not mistaken. That's your prepping for the op. That's that. Um, that's when it's taking place. That's from a D20 table. Those are where it's going to take place. Those are tables. No, D6s and D12s, I do believe. Um, the number of ops. Yeah. Right? So, so this is a pretty decent game. <clears throat> well, who this is for? Who was? Who would this be for? This would be for anybody. Anybody that liked B17, Queen of the Skies, or Steve Dixon's other games on the subject. Um, or even Target for Tonight by Steve Dixon. If you like that stuff, this is a this is a must-have. Yeah, 
because you're gonna you're gonna enjoy the reading of it. You're gonna enjoy looking through it, and you'll enjoy playing the game if you want to get down to it. To be honest with you, it's a it's a good book. It's a good rules, um, really good rules, and it's a it's a fun game. That's just how that how it is. That's just there's nothing I'm gonna say. It's not on the BGG database, right? I'm not sure why it's not. Um, Maybe it needs to be put in. Maybe I'll do that later. But it's not in the BGG database. But you can buy this on Amazon, right? Get it on it. You can get it on Amazon, no problem. So um, I, I would suggest you to do that if you're interested in the topic. It's a must-have if you're a war gamer and you like the bomb war, especially over uh, over Germany. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know. We're not talking about the the moral aspects of it or anything like that. That does book doesn't get into that. The rules don't get into that. It's just playing the game. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you today, y'all. Um, y'all be good. Take it easy. Might have another. I have a few cup, few more videos, you know. Um, so in me, maybe this week. So I might be back later. So, all right, y'all. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.